I don't know how many times I need to say it, math is a skills-based subject, okay? So um, I know there are a lot of people that make study notes. Some people study notes works best, but for most people, as it's a skill-based subject, it takes practice, consolidation, and application to really, um, you know, thrive, okay? Um, the person that asked about the mistakes diary, that's one of the ways that we can keep track of and learn from all of your silly mistakes. If you're not making, if you're not keeping a mistakes diary, then you still need to go through that reflection of, oh no, I made a mistake. Um, how did I make that mistake? Why did I make that mistake? Well, both together. Um, what can I do that's going to prevent that the next time? Okay. Um, practice makes perfect. Perfect's a bit of a stretch, but practice makes near perfect at least. Um, past papers honestly are so good. THSC has so many from 2022, 2020, 2021, you might see a couple, but like a lot of us didn't have trial exams, so you won't see too many. Um, and yeah, also understanding the rationale behind what you're doing. That could be the reason why you're sitting the HSC in the first place. What's your end goal? End goal in terms of the HSC, in terms of just your stu study session in general. Um, even up to what's the end goal for this one question that I'm sitting right now, okay? Um, so tips for conquering your assessments. Start early. The day that your um, assessment task comes in, go home that afternoon and, you know, analyze what's, what's expected of you um, for your assignments. Get started on like a small plan or something. Um, it really puts you a mile ahead of everyone else, okay? Okay. Um, and then breaking down what you need to do into specific actionable tasks, okay? What's expected of you? And then what's the end goal? What can I do to get halfway? What can I get to do a quarter of it? And then all into small, small, small chunks. Once you've made it into small attainable tasks, you're so like you're so prepared to get everything done um, because it's just so much more doable, okay? Um, yeah, and, okay. Start and kick yourself into gear. Okay, so if you struggle with procrastination, I said that I don't get pro get pro get procrastinated with my phone, but I still get procrastinated, like, I still procrastinate with the smallest of things. I'll, like, just days off into the window and everything. But um, something that helped for me was the Pomodoro technique. So... 25 minutes of work followed by 15 minutes of break. Um, or if you, it doesn't need to be that exact 25 and 5 ratio. It can be a bit longer or a bit shorter, just depending on um, like how you're doing. Um, limiting distractions. Currently, I do sometimes need to remove my phone from my room. Um, and just as importantly, committing to what you're doing. Okay. Um, if you're going to do something, do it all the way with your full attention and get it done um i think it was either i think it was someone today that was saying um that they spend a lot of time doing their homework and um one of the reasons could be maybe because you're only not like you're not focusing 100 percent on the task at hand maybe you know you've got your screaming siblings in the background and you've got your phone buzzing on your left hand side um which a lot of these things you can't have too much control over, but, you know, maybe going to the library or spending your study break studying instead of talking with your friends, just so you can get everything done faster and be more efficient. Um, it makes such a big difference. Okay. Um, yeah. And the last takeaway, sometimes the biggest challenge of all um, when doing something is just, just getting started with it. Um, so, I don't know who needs to hear this, but you do not need to start your work at three o'clock on the dot or four o'clock on the dot. And if it's 401, then you most definitely can still start. Um, it doesn't need to be a perfect number for the time that you start. Okay. Um, now let's.